working. <laughs> What's up, good people, aka winners? That's all we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. That's the intro. Okay. I didn't want to ruin it, so I was just following your lead. Um, to CK's audience, my name is Melissa. Yes. I go by Miss Kev on stage socially. You may have um had some experience with my husband. He's Kev on stage, on social media, on all platforms. He goes viral quite often. He's like literally the nutcase of social media. And he is Kev on stage across all social media platforms. Uh, Kev and the guys are filming a video. And so if you hear background noise, I apologize. That's what it is. Listen, we've been wanting to get together for, for a long like, time. Like what, two, three years maybe? At least. But we were determined to make this happen. I do have a YouTube channel. I don't really do uh, makeup videos as much anymore, but I do post, I have a podcast that I um, co-host with my husband where we talk about love and relationship. And so I do post that on my channel every single Thursday. We've been following each other and communicating via social media and text for a couple of years, to be honest. That's true. Yeah, we have. And um, so it's so interesting. Sorry. To it's okay. No, 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 it's good. Um, it's interesting to me the uh, connections that I've made with people online mm -hmm. that I've never met in person, but I mm -hmm. legit feel like we know each other. Yeah. Because yeah. I was telling, I was telling my husband on the way over here, I'm like, like, we've never really met. I got to take these earrings off. I can't do it with like the makeup on, but I'm like, we've never really met. So it's a little awkward, but like, I feel good too. Yeah. It's like, it's still exciting because we've been talking all this time. So when we first talked on the phone, I was like, Hey, was. Oh, no. you know what I mean? Yeah. It was just like, we've been talking all this time. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so do you want to start with how I started? I'm how I found you guys or yeah. how? Let's do that. Okay, so we'll start with, and we're all over the place with these cameras, but basically, um, like she said, her husband is a comedian and he started on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Okay, and well, actually my daughter, my oldest daughter was watching a video um, about him talking about natural hair. Like it was a really funny video. And I just started following at that point and then she started coming in on the channel more talking about family things and about like life situations and about trusting God, even as far as business and layoffs and, or she didn't say layoff, you said fire. No, kept <laughs> kept the fire. About um, fired and stuff like that. So I just started following and then we ended up meeting and taking like a picture. And then we just kind of, I don't know when the heck we exchanged numbers, honestly. But I met at um, More Than Pretty. Yep. It was an event that um, my first lady, Erica Campbell was hosting. Oh. Kevin and I were on the panel but at the time that i had met you at more than pretty i knew you from youtube already yeah yeah and that's what i was asking i was like well because you because when we met and when we started talking like she already knew who i was and i was like wait so how did you know me because i know how i know knew you. right 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 how did you know me back when uh youtube was really just like more instructional. There you and go. That's the people word. People were doing it really more for like the love of. Yeah, the passion. It wasn't just about money. It was before people were. Um, it was not really a lot of sponsorships. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. It was more like I'm on here because this is what I love. Now, what are you using for your brows? I am using the precisely my brow by Benefit. What are you? Oh, you're using a pomade. A pomade. This is my judge. This is um, the Ofra. As you can see, it really is a love thing, though. Like, oh. This is my third one. Oh, yeah. And yeah, actually, that's serious. impressive because going through pomade, it, that takes a lot. And I, and I stay with it. This is what I use all the time. It is dark brown. It is uh, by Ofra Cosmetics. Um, shout out to Ofra. If you buy anything from them, you can use the code C key and save 20%. I'm not mad at that. I have a love-hate relationship with pomades. And I didn't used to like them either, but um, this one has just been life-giving. And um, the pencil... Sometimes if you sweat a little bit or if you get a little oily, yeah, yeah, there, yeah. there tends to be a little bit of movement. Yeah. This doesn't move. Cause for the cause, we both have this concealer. Did you show, is that what you put on your lids? 
No, I use this. Oh, okay. Well, we both have that. this um, this Too Faced concealer, and I use the Too Faced concealer. Um, it is Born This Way, and I use this to help sculpt my brows. Cause listen, brows are listen. Brows actually um, frame your face, so that's why they're so important to me. I have to make sure that life is great with those. You know what I mean? So let me tell you, the color I'm using right now on my in my crease is Roxanne. Roxanne. Let me see. It's really not Roxanne. Roxanne. Oh. It's just Roxanne. Oh, got you. But listen. You remember that song? Yes, I do. Roxanne, Roxanne. And you're, you're a singer, a singer. Your and that's all I, like, literally, I think I'm a human jukebox. No, you are. Because I remember every song from my childhood and everything I ever listened to, it comes out when I'm just talking. I'm about to let you catch up to me because I'm almost done with my I'm episode. trying to say because you said glitter and I'm trying to figure out what, are we doing glitter or I'm not? about to do glitter right now. I'm about to put my base on. Oh no, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to do a full glitter eye because look, you said glitter so um, brought, I came through. Don't came, play. I came through. Glitter. Th this is um... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us Real what fine. these are. These are actually they're from Hobby Lobby from um a few years ago, but they are okay for your eye. And um I brought those and then I also have the Urban Decay glitter liner, which is really those for my people. Yeah, it's really for my people that don't really want to go full on with the glitter, which I'm thinking I may lean this direction because I, to do that I need to really focus. Okay, it's one of my favorite palettes of all time. The um uh Born Urban to Decay Born to Run palette. It's really good. It it's is really one good. of my I always because we do a lot of traveling I'm always looking for an all-in-one travel palette Just yep the one palette that I can do everything with and born to run is and it. your Jaclyn Hill right my Jaclyn Hill is one this one is one and low-key I have been really I haven't used it that much but um, I've traveled with it now twice and I like this palette I do this is the Tati Beauty palette I feel like I have never been mm more me, more walking in my purpose and passion than I have in this last year, which I find interesting because I've always found a lot of meaning and purpose with going uh, and going into work. I am one of those people that's like a career minded person. Mm -hmm. Let me be a good employee. Let me clock in. Let me do what I'm supposed to do. Let me get promotions. Let me get a raise. Let me make this like, money. climb the corporate ladder and make this money. That's always been my mindset. Never in a million years would I have imagined myself doing anything but that. Come through with the glitter. What was your base? I, I use, I didn't use a base. <laughs> I use that. Um, uh, I put this on, and that's it. Okay. Oh, that's Nick something. Huh? Nick's glitter primer. Mm -hmm. I like this. This is just. Um, I did that. I don't know what that Morphe thing. I never used that one before. So we really winging it, y'all. I never used it. Oh my God, she's on foundation. I'm, I can't hear. She's she's she's. You know a, why though? She, I'm not. You do this for real, for real. I do this good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, talking to the liner. I y'all ain't gonna hear nothing from me because I got the focus but anyway um you know but God can really write your script if you just allow him to do it the way he wants to do it and for me I don't know if I like that I don't know if that's looking chunky see this patchy see mm -mm. I never tried that before well what are you gonna do what am I oh, gonna I do see it. it's catching see? on the bottom yeah Oops, it's okay you see from this angle you can't see it I think what I'm gonna do is you see this is why I this is why I love um, YouTube as well because you just got to make things happen what I'm about to do now is I'm gonna take a um, I'm trying to find a silver color and I'm gonna go over this because that just it got what happened was that base because I forgot glitter mm. and then and that Morphe I guess it's kind of juicy I don't know. I'll mess around. No, I'm gonna. We're gonna make it work. Make no. it work. Make it work. Oh wait, that might be okay. Mm, it's okay. I don't know which one I want. <laughs> oh lord. And you know what? It's kind of. It's kind of. It's actually kind of giving me a Christmas silver. Yep. So I'm going to see what I'm saying. Listen, and is it how I really wanted it to be? No, but is it toe up from the flow up? Not Don't really. plan God out of it. That was the word I heard out of that too. Yeah, you can't, you cannot plan God out of it. It's like, cause there is a scripture that talks about write up your plans, but the Lord will establish your ways. These are um, from Ardell and me and Ardell have like a new relationship. Nice. And um, it's really amazing. Like I love them. 
and I think they love me a little bit. And it is called the 213s. And y'all gonna see the glow up like for real because okay, let's see it. I am, and this will probably take my eyes to another level, even though I'm gonna be honest, it was like a train wreck at first, but I kind of said, come on through, come on back here, get it together. And I did it. Okay, so here we go with this little mirror. Next time I'm gonna do better in life. But um, so the thing about it, and you know what? I have a video on YouTube where I show how to do lashes and I call it how to do lashes the non YouTuber way because I like, and that's one thing about my channel. I ain't got a lot of kick it. I'm gonna keep it 100. Tell like, us. You know what I'm saying? So you are, this is what I like about you. What? I'm gonna tell you one of the things that attracted me, and this is for anyone learning makeup. <laughs> I'm struggling right here with Sorry. this mirror again, but you want yes. This one? Yes. That <laughs> this you. is the key to makeup. Anybody. There is no right way. Mm -hmm. Do it the way that works best for you. Mm -hmm. I promise you, part of the reason I consumed so many videos and like YouTube from uh, YouTube tutorials from mm -hmm. YouTube, everybody, like mm -hmm. we were literally just talking about like some of the OGs of makeup. Yep. And part of the reason why I did was because Oops. I would try it their way and didn't like it. I would try this person's way and didn't like it. I would try this person's way to do this, but this person's way of doing that, put it together, created my own way, and suddenly I was like, this is what I need to be doing. But this you is have what to. to. It's kind of like, if you think of, like, think of makeup this way, and it may take the pressure off, because I think a lot of people are like, oh my God, this didn't work out like that person, and, and it's so hard, and then it's so much pressure, and then they don't really want to do it. But when you think of it as, first of all, think of it as being only makeup, and it washes off and yes. you can start over okay I used to say you're that not, all the time yeah like it you're not off. you're not bound to it okay it's not a it's not a contractual agreement <laughs> that it has to come out that way all right so just know that it's something that you can take off and start over i do my shadow and then I do my face and then I finish off my, like I'm done with my face and now I'm finishing off my eyes. I can't do that. I can't, you know why? Because I do not like, I don't, if I mess up on the eye or I got some lash line, something happening, I don't want to do my face over. I want to make sure that the face is done. I'm thinking I may go red. I may go blue. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to do red. She does do, you do do I do. I do blue, black. Um... I do whatever I want to do. Hello? Especially, and this is, let me tell you about this right now. I did a video on YouTube about this too. And I told people, a lot of times, every time I post a picture of me wearing all these different colors of lipstick, first of all, it cosmetics primer, and then I'm about to put some hourglass um, primer. Why do it's, you do both? Tell us why. Because the it cosmetics primer, I love that it has the, the um, grip technology, which means that it, the foundation actually grips to it and it like oh. doesn't move so I love that but it actually does nothing for your pores and it does nothing for mm -hmm. keeping your makeup matte and I have combination skin and so I just find that even though the veil primer is not necessarily not the veil no, yeah, it is. Veil Mineral Primer. That's one I, of my favorite primers. Yeah, I don't think it's marketed as a matte primer, but I think it does a great job at kind of mattifying your gotcha. foundation, if you will. So I'm putting that in the areas where my oil is like, hey girl, how you doing? In a couple hours. How come I know this song? Hannah Montana. <laughs> so what are we doing? Oh, you're on lashes. I'm on lashes. Tell us your favorite brand of lashes. Do you have more than one or are you just gonna, or is it, okay, tell us. I have, um, so I think they're called, um, I think it's by Coco, you can get it from Lady Moss Beauty. Coco Misha, bomb.com. Oh, I love um, Lady Lashes. Mm -hmm. Bomb, and then, um, I have to mix it right. And then uh, Ardell 213 that I have on now, it's a newfound love. And then Stalazi has one called Vegas Baby. What, what palettes were your starter ones budget friendly? <gasps> Oh. Do you remember the very first palette that you ever bought? Um, I do when I first got into because I I'm a um, makeup artist as well. And so in the beginning, girl, I don't even know. Like this is when Coastal Scents and BH mm -hmm. Cosmetics were maybe even was Coastal Scents first. Because I don't even think BH Cosmetics was around yet. But it was probably um Coastal Scents. And to be honest, now there are so many brands that you can get get a nice palette for a, a um for you know that's really really affordable Which and what, what would be your one that you recommend i have mine i want to see if it matches it would totally be that jacqueline hill like mine it's warranty too. like i'm so like mine what too. is it 28 dollars yeah i think so 28 dollars yeah. baby and i'm still using her and i had her for like a year and you know what 
shadow doesn't expire like a foundation does, right? right? right, right. Because one palette that I would recommend to someone, no matter light skin, dark skin, white, black, Asian, Maybe. it didn't matter. I would say the Jaclyn Hill palette. The Jaclyn Hill I would, palette. I would honestly would say the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, do you bake? Because I didn't see if you baked no. or not. I, I, I'm stopping because I realized that my skin is not as oily as I once thought it was. Mm -hmm. And um, I can make myself too... To dry a drugstore baking powder? I sure do. And guess what? I Tell actually have a high end one that's Graftobium, which they are a um uh -huh. they make makeup, you know, for performers, people like or in on stage for on stage, just like Ben Nye. But this is equivalent to Graftobian to me. And honestly, I I gravitate to it a little bit more. Oh. What brand is it? This is Black Radiance, y'all. Really? Seven nine nine nine. Are you at your own? I find that Black Radiance is at like Walgreens and Target. And this is their banana powder. And as you can see, the love is real. Like, oh my God. Like, yeah. look at that. Yeah. Only thing I'm gonna tell you is that it is very powdery. So like powder goes everywhere. So I'm agreeing with that. Put us on because I don't do drugstore baking powders. Okay, so now I am just using this. And honestly, this is a drugstore powder. Tell me what you're using. Cover girl. Oh. Cover girl. Um, Tati Beauty Glitter. I got a little bit of transfer, but it's okay. We did a little bit of smoke on the outside. <laughs> Y'all know I love a deep, dark, smoky eye underneath. And a little red lipstick by uh, my uh, my husband's cousin bought this for me. It's a YSL red lipstick. Okay. It's really pretty. Nice. Out here just being, you know, just being fabulous. Mm -hmm. Looking real festive. And so I got the red shirt to match your red lip. Yeah. Hey. We mm -hmm. Who's the real? <laughs> and so me, I am, because I left my red lip at home. This is Brooklyn. So we just wanted to give you close up and per look at the highlight though. What did yes. you use? What did you use? I, I don't remember. Julia's Place. Julia's Place. Yep. Yep. I got their concealer on. So we just want to give you a little close-up action. Go for and it. I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to um, join the fam bam because we winners up over here and we would love to have you. I love that. And make sure that you turn your notifications on because YouTube be kind of like tripping, you know, Not on the sister sometimes. They yeah. always be tripping. <laughs> So make sure, and then you can follow Miss Kev on stage. Yes. Everywhere at Miss Kev on stage, Ms. right? Miss Kev on stage on all platforms. You can follow me for um, inspirational marriage, relationship, and woman empowerment. I love you so, so, so much. I love you too. <laughs> don't forget to turn your notifications on so you don't miss a beat. I don't want you to have FOMO, okay? Fear of missing out. And you guys have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Confidence is key. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah.